secretary has a way of weeding people out that they that aren't doing a good job. Yeah. And so if they weren't, I would imagine all of the transgenders that are issues, along with all the gays and all of the straight men and women that are have issues, you know, they're gone. So Yeah, I agree with that. I I think let's just not say we're not gonna have trans anymore. Why don't we you know into because they make exemptions for other people. Criminal records and other health issues and Yeah. And know. to come out and say that they're not going to be allowed in any capacity in the military. What does that mean? Yeah. I read some articles and they talked about well what you know, I mean, a lot of these ones that are going male and female well, either way, a lot of them are under use hormones right artificial hormones so they have to take these medicines but let's say they're in a battle at the front and they can't get their their meds and there's a withdrawal from taking these hormones and it can screw up your thought process and all that well that's true but don't put those transgender people necessarily at the yeah, front exactly why can't they work on the it help desk right or work you know within the united states at a base and do all kinds of there's a lot of jobs in the military yeah. that aren't life or death right, right. well and you that's know what, what I they mean, like on the battlefield, right? Going into battle and, yeah. and, and and getting killed, captured, or cut off. <clears throat> a lot of you know, a lot of Navy cooks on battleships that hardly ever get captured. But anyways, the point I, I think it's much ado about nothing. I don't. I think it's a non-issue. I, I th- think he did it for political <clears throat> reasons to gain favor from ultra conservatives. Somebody mentioned it's quid pro quo that there's some issues that he brought this up because he wants to get votes from more conservative members on the Obamacare stuff so I don't know what's going on yeah I like I said I'm not that concerned about it I think I think if it does become a distraction which actually the way it came out has to be more of a distraction to people well, in the military it's, it's than big, anything I mean it's, it's crazy but dust up right but now. when you start talking about like well, they're in the military, so they deserve to have their hormone therapy paid for, or they deserve these spe- this special treatment well, because yeah, of that. And that's when it can start causing an issue, and, right. I'm, and, and I'm, I'd rather the military not be distracted with that or, sort of crap. Or pay for the sexual, or pay for the... The, uh, the surgery. The surgery sexual. after they're in the military. You know, I, if they come in transgendered, that's one thing. But if they're in there and decide... What does transgendered mean? Well, let's say they've already had the it, sex change operation. It's already paid for. They're... <clears throat> Now a boy or a woman, a man or a woman, whatever, and sure, and then you know, like any kind of medical dr- drug, they would get some of that paid for. Some of it maybe not, but they could work that out. But I don't think you want to spend a hundred thousand dollars to change somebody's sex well, while I they're mean, in the military. Just up until recently, gays weren't allowed. Right. Well, I mean, don't right. ask, don't tell. Right. So they was they weren't tough for, for women. I mean, let's let's ban gays. Let's ban women. I mean, they have same issues. You mean just in general, ban them or from yeah, the yeah, from the military. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> from the I'm military. just trying to see where your head is at. Like, because you know, women uh, they have their their monthlies, and they, you know how they can be. Oh my goodness, it's oh they they're not in their right I don't, mind. I don't and, know what you're talking and, about. And it would be horrible I've to have nothing, women on the front line. I've had nothing but pleasant experiences uh-huh. with women, Brad. Uh-huh. And after the joke I told... That's not true. I was just here after, an hour before the after show. After the joke I told a couple of weeks ago, I'm not allowed to talk about women anymore on the show. What was A little joke? bit of backlash. I can't tell you the joke. I don't remember. I don't either. I don't... I'm making it up. Completely oh. making that up. We're going to take a break, though. AdOddShow.com. You're making a mess over there. Facebook.com yeah, slash trivia. AdOddShow. Trivia. We're going to do a trivia question. Nice try, Nate. Nice try. This one's an easy one. Well, it's not real easy, but it's kind of interesting. I Eisenhower. Thought. Yeah. <laughs> Polk. <laughs> President Polk. That's the answer. William Burr. In 1963, what finally ended in Alaska? Finally. It took uh, until 1963. Eisenhower. Eisenhower ended. All right. We'll be right back. Lock it in. Rip the knob off. Red State Talk Radio. My Parents Open Carry, a pro-gun kids book from White Feather Press. 13-year-old Brenna and her parents spend their day in typical fashion. But what's not so typical is that Brenna's parents lawfully open carry handguns for self-defense. And the Strongs join a growing number of families who are standing up for their Second Amendment right and bringing gun ownership out of the closet. Order your copy of this unique kids book at myparentsopencarry.com. It's 
It's a bumpy ride through the political jungle with Nate and Brian. Believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left. What? If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-350-3211. That's 800-350-3211. Again, 800-350-3211. Whenever I'm feeling a little down under, I can always count on Nate and Brian for their interesting perspective on topics important to freedom and civil rights by listening to the At Odd Show. Nate and Brian cover important topics with insight, intelligence, and, of course, humor. I can always expect a laugh or two. So if you want to be informed and have a great time, give these guys a listen. At odds. The Ed Odd Show with the greatest political talk show hosts in history, Nate and Brian. Nate and it's sad that they actually believe that. So give a listen because the delusional need love too. Are you looking for some way cool t-shirts? Check out ChuckDug.com. They have hundreds of crazy fun t-shirts like gun, patriotic, and you better believe zombie shirts. At ChuckDug.com, you'll find quality shirts at a quality price. All shirts start at just 10 bucks with free shipping over 50 bucks. Mention Radio 1 coupon code at checkout and grab a cool 10% off. That's ChuckDug.com. T-shirts with attitude. Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Nate. If you like the Ad Odd Show, and we know you do, why not order your very own Ad Odds t shirt sizes small to 6XL in a cool black color? So support our show, check out the great prices at chugdug.com, or head over to our website, adoddshow.com, and click the link. And unlike listening to our show, you won't be disappointed. All right, ready? Now? Is this on? The mic's on. It's hot, Mike? All right, all right, now. All right, here we go. All right. When I have nothing to do, and I mean absolutely nothing to do, I'll listen to the Ad Odd Show with Nate and Brian. There, how was that? Because that's all I'm going to do. No. No, I'm not going to say they're funny. They're not funny. I'm not going to say they're smart. They're definitely not smart. I'm done. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Now, can I have my cookie? Okay, so what ended in Alaska in 1963? Right? Was that the question? Yeah, the, uh, they allowed women to vote. No, we had some. True. Yep, guesses. we had some good, some good guesses. Um, Might be right. Transgenders being banned from the state militia. That was 65. Shooting whales. No, they still do that. Uh, just for anybody that was listening before the break, Eisenhower actually ended in 1969, and not in Alaska, in Washington D.C. His presidency or his life? His life. Okay. The oil pipeline? Moose that, killings? That ended? No, they're still killing moose. Eskimos those. having to live in igloos? No, they still do that. Eskimo kisses? Nope, that's allowed. Eskimo hugs? No, they can still do those. Okay. Eskimos. <laughs> they ended. <laughs> it kind of has to do with Eskimos. Oh, okay. Some Eskimos. No, it was... Uh, 
mail delivery by dog sled. The last regularly scheduled dog team route was shut down in 1963 when Chester <coughs> Nongawuk of Sambagunga on St. Lawrence <laughs> Island retired his team. Wow. But in recent years, they have competitive dog races that have carried some commemorative mail, like so the old days. what would they replace a sled pulled by dogs with? Snowmobiles and aeroplanes. Wow. It's crazy how fast technology is. And, and snowshoes. It's not people on snowshoes. Also email. Boats. Mostly email. Mostly email, yeah. No, I got to imagine that a lot of people order stuff online in Alaska and get it delivered. Can to you them. get your prime two day shipping? Probably not. <laughs> That's by, a good dr- question. by drone. Yeah. yeah. Well, well but those <laughs> damn Rocky Mountains <laughs> getting up over that. It's tough. Hmm. That's interesting. It was it? Yeah, it really was. It was good. Now you're going to ruin the feeling I have with this day in history, aren't you? Yep, 1953, 64 years ago, after three years of a frustrating war, the United States, the People's Republic of China, North Korea, and South Korea agreed to an armistice, bringing the Korean War to an end. Uh, The armistice ended America's first experiment with the Cold War concept of limited war. It began in 1950 when communist North Korea invaded South Korea. Do I want to say anything? What are you talking about? The Korean War. Ah, my grandpa was in that. My dad just missed it. He joined in 53, so it was just getting over. Got a purple heart coming out of it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know what causes that. It's better now, right? (laughs) My dad did go. He was a corpsman on the hospital ship. He did go to Korea, and he... uh, Helped treat a lot of the, a lot of Koreans. They would come for medical aid, and mm-hmm. they'd go ashore and give shots and stitches and burns and cool that kind of stuff. He hated seeing kids get hurt, as most people do. Most people. Now, speaking of Eisenhower, they they said one of the reasons that the war might have come to an end is Eisenhower hinted that he would drop the big ones. So break this up. We gotta <laughs> break this <laughs> diplomatic logjam. I, we're at the peace talks, and we're talking about dropping nukes on you. Yeah. Nothing says oh, peace. Oh, no, I... Sh- I I'm, I'm atomic a, bomb. I think peace through strength actually works. Yeah, so that so sort too. of thing, I think, is legitimate. Here we are 63 years later, or 64 years later, and we're going to start another Korean War. But speaking of that, <clears throat> you ever want to go to North Korea? They have tours. I don't want to go to North Korea. Now, this week they were coming out and they were going to ban, the U.S. was going to ban all U.S. travels to North Korea. That's what I heard. Korea. It was sad. I was getting but my this tickets. Is, this is sadder. You say that's sad. This is sadder. Okay. North Korea canceled their annual beer fest. Do they have beer? They do. Yeah. Okay. And and it's the second year for the annual, which didn't happen. So does it make it an annual if it, doesn't, if it only happens once? I don't think so. Right. And people were all confused. Why? No reason given. It was just canceled. They probably didn't have beer. They have a lot of beer there. They probably ran And there was a a special beer that they made, and they gave it to some press people, United Press people, and they said Mm -hmm. it was flat and bitter. But they made a special beer for this annual beer thing. Uh Uh-huh. It's made with tears and sweat of the people. Okay. They say it tastes bitter and full of despair. Is that what they... That's hilarious. North Korea joke. I think I wrote it. I think it's pretty good. I know good. you wrote it. Although Arizona brewers are using filtered sewage water to make beer, and that not is a, a joke. Tr- yeah, that's true. But here's the thing: uh, there's filtered sewer it's, water. It's in, it's in Arizona, Tucson's area. They were going to call it the the number Tucson. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> so there's <laughs> filtered oh. there's filtered sewer water in a lot of things. Yeah, so to me, it's drink. like what's yeah, it's, it's what's, a marketing gimmick. What's the deal here? But really, North Korea wants tourists, and there's a... Maybe if they stopped... Uh, they offer they offer surfing, rice planting. That's, you know... Okay. I, come, <laughs> come to North Korea, no, we'll come plant <laughs> rice. <laughs> and history tours. They have a history of uh, the surrender of Japan. Yeah. That's a, yeah. You can get eight days, seven nights. For how much? It doesn't say. 32 to 95? I... Uh, what is it? the Hawaii? Okay, uh, I can't. Re- <clears throat> I thought I had the name.